हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द क्लास वंस अगेन एंड इन द प्रीवियस क्लास सो फॉर वी हैव लर्न दैट हाउ रोमियो वेंट टू मीट रोजलिन एंड हाउ ही हैड फॉलन स्पेल बाउंड टू द ब्यूटी ऑफ जूलियट एंड हाउ ही केप्ट ऑन अप्रिशिएटिंग हर ब्यूटी एंड um it was that way of appreciating that he himself was under doubt whether it is love or something then in the last few lines he accepts that it is love towards her and he is so attached that after certain time they meet each other and now in act 3 scene 2 already they have come closer and they have turned into lovers they cannot stay away with one another and life has become a huge iceberg to them it means they can't live without one another and they decide to meet at night because day was not the eloquent time to meet because they were from the enmay family then now it is juliet who is restlessly waiting for romeo to come hence she speaks these lines to him even there is some point of appreciation also so you can see on your screen that the lines told by juliet to romeo come night come romeo come the day in night for thou will lie upon the wings of night whiter than new snow on a raven's back come gentle night come loving black broad night give me my romeo and when i shall die take him and cut him out in little stars and he will make the face of heaven so fine that all the world will be in love with night and pay no worship to the garish sun so these are the lines very softly very gently spoken by juliet to romeo now what is the explanation of the line what is that she want to convey him or to the night which is been personified here come night there is comma there means the meaning is that if the night is going to come if the night is going to fall early then she can meet romeo that is that is why come night there is a comma and there is a pause come romeo so if the night is going to fall early then it is romeo is also going to come early come she is asking she is pleading come the day in night our day has started of course it is night but our day has started because there is a contrast made by the poet that is <clears throat> day and night black and white day and night day is turned to be very difficult to them because they are not supposed to meet they prefer night because it is a permissible time for them to meet so only the author is using day sorry night to be as day hence what juliet is telling to romeo that our day has started the let us concentrate on the word the the 
is a old poetic form of usage the wilt thy all these words are used in the old poems usually the you also it can be and the day in night you were day as well as her day we can consider here our day has started let me brief you the first line once again come night means o night do please come early so that my romeo is going to come and you have become a day to us here you refers to the night for the wilt for the means you will or we will lie upon the wings of night wilt means will here and lie upon the wings of night so it is earlier also been referred that neither the day nor the night has got any structure but it is a poetical way of speaking and the poet hence has given <clears throat> a structure to night so he says wings of night what may be the reason to be said as wings of night why because there is a relation between the first line and that second line come night means how you are going to come that is the meaning maybe like a bird so only she is using the word wings of night and the will lie upon the wings of night means what we will be there we will be together in the night so you have to come early o night and now she is saying that how romeo is going to appear in that night and what she says whiter than new snow so this whiter than new snow is used for the arrival of romeo and she is referring romeo on a raven's back what is raven's back raven is a jet black color bird when romeo is going to sit on the bird and he is going to arrive means he looks as though it's a new snow his appearance that's all the simple meaning is when he is going to come how the appearance is as though he is sitting on a raven's back and he is coming therefore the words are been used there wings of night which refers to the night as well as to the bird also white snow then what it is it is nothing but a comparison given by juliet to romeo so okay dear students now let us see the rest of the lines come gentle night again a comma there come so it means she is asking the night to come early because she is waiting restlessly to meet romeo so gentle night why the word gentle night is used there night can be cruel also am i right night can be cruel also why gentle night the reason is these lovers are going to meet at night which has become a day to them top of that it is their meeting time which is permitting them to be with one another so only she is using the word gentle night come loving say gentle night again loving night come loving black broad night loving night gentle night black broad night so it is black broad and arc shape broad you know i broad it is so like an arc it is only a reference black broad night which is a reference come gentle night come loving black broad night so come gentle night oh lovely night you are so lovely 
you are just like a black broad your appearance unite do please come and again give me my romeo it means dear students don't consider the meaning like this give me my romeo means it is not that night is going to bring and give romeo then what may be the meaning or what is the meaning the meaning is that romeo is going to come if the night is going to fall so only she uses give me my romeo and there is a comma again there is a pause it means she might have been waiting and she is asking the night to come after few uh, after a certain time when he has not arrived at then she feels and she says so if romeo is not going to come then she is not going to survive definitely she is going to die so she is using when i shall die when romeo is not going to come then it is sure that i am going to die so whatsoever happens of me is let it happen so what is going to take place with me i am least bothered so i will die but romeo is also not going to be alive when i am going to die romeo is not going to be alive he will also die when he is going to die then in what way his soul must be transformed so only the rest of the lines are used there like this take him and cut him out in little straws so let me analyze you in a brief manner this particular line usually what happens when you are going to give the summary of the poem you may unfortunately write like this o oh, night juliet is asking night to cut romeo and make him into little stars dear students it is not at all the meaning it is not at all the meaning so take it in a clear manner then what is the meaning it means take him and cut him out in little stars the meaning is that when i am going to die romeo will also die when he is going to die then he his soul must be transformed into a bright star and must be spilled on the face of heaven face of heaven is referred to sky face of heaven so his soul must be transformed into a bright star little stars among so many stars he will be a bright star and he will make the face of heaven so fine and that bright star is going to shine so brightly it is going to give its glitterness so brightly that it is going to make the sky appear very 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 eloquent very beautiful so only face of heaven so fine is used you can take the meaning for that face of heaven is referred to the sky and now last two lines there further what is told is that that all the world will be in love with night so what is the connection between the above line last third line and the last second line where people will arrive what is the connection you may get confused the analytical meaning is that when the people are going to get vexed after working hard for the whole day it is the night the gentle night which is going to permit them to rest and in that when they are going to finish every work and just when they are going to lie and at that time when they are going to glance on the sky they are going to see 
a bright star shining and for few minutes they are just going to forget their sorrows and they are going to feel so happy and they may think and pay no worship to the garishan what is that line explaining they may think it is natural with the human beings that after after getting vexed with the work they feel so if the day is not going to break how nice it is so that we can rest even for a few more hours and just to glance at the sky and enjoy the nature's beauty that is the point of view of the poet now let me explain you from the poetical view that what she mean to say is that when people are going to rest at night when they are going to glance at the sky they see the bright star shining and they feel so happy and top of that they feel still that the day should not break and pay no worship means what pay no worship means not the question of worshiping here pay no worship means again if the day is going to break they will have to start their routine the day break in sense the arrival of the sun s u n the arrival of the sun and for that if the sun is going to come the day is going to break and they will have to start with their routine which will create some uh, hecticness in their works or they become so tired or exhausted from the life that they may feel something different if it is night then they feel happy so dear students let me tell you that in act 3 scene 2 they have met each other and they are eagerly waiting for one another to come so now they have used a structure they have given a structure for night like that of the gentle night loving night black broad night a metaphor used there and also garish sun sun is not cruel but it is used as garish means cruel sun because if the day is going to break then they will have to start with their routine so only the poet uses the words like that and now dear students see when you are going to go to the groceries dat is given the meaning there that is a old usage which means as does then utopi utopi an african utopia is year means the jewel or by an utopia yonder over there dancing floor she was doing the dance there wandering over there from there to here measures done dance ended measures done means i told you any activity that will be completed so here the activity was dance she was dancing and it was completed the again you or we also it can be rude roughly formed so what is the rude meaning here rude means uh, the general meaning is roughly formed some roughness on the hands but their rude hands means poetical explanation is that he is going to get blessed if he is going to be with her so now garish you read or bright bright sun so somewhere you can come across the meaning with that of so that was the feeling of juliet towards romeo hope you might have understood so let us take your feedback through our numbers in the next class till then you can share your doubts or clarify your doubts through the through our numbers so okay till then goodbye stay home stay safe